All right, all right, all righty, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1196 coming at you. That's right, everybody. If you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. Hit that red subscribe button. And of course, you see the little like, thumbs up button? Give that a quick tap if you drive in this gig economy, all right? So let's see if we can get 150 thumbs up and let's jump on into this. So I got to give a big shout out to Joseph Johnson for sharing this. Everybody say thank you, Joseph. Did you do it? You didn't do it. So check this out. Postmates workers are getting scammed out of their earnings by phishing schemes. Ooh. Over at the markup is an alarming story about a rash of phishing scams that have been targeting gig workers for Postmates. Drivers are receiving phone calls from people claiming to be Postmates employees who urge the workers to give, out, uh, to give over their login details usually under the guise that it's necessary to keep a driver account keep a driver account in good standing or avoid claims of fraud once the scammers obtain that info they switch the debit card information on the account postmates makes weekly deposits of a worker's earnings but instant transfers can also be requested and then drain the balance of everything that's in there the markup has spoken to many postmates gig workers who have been preyed upon with this scam and others are using Reddit and social media to warn their fellow drivers about the phishing and social engineering attempts. The unknown call usually comes in right after an order. Placing an order allows the perpetrators to easily reach their Postmates driver by phone. Some scammers have gone so far as to involve restaurants in their scheme. Drivers say that Postmates isn't doing enough to make them aware of the phishing threat, which has only grown more common during the COVID-19 pandemic. Scammers are taking advantage of how, bus how busy and hurried these gig workers often are, so drivers are asking for more safeguards in the app. One suggestion is an automatic hold on a driver account whenever the deposit information changes, just to give some more time to prevent a worker's money from being siphoned out. Another measure that could help would be a caller ID that clearly identifies when a call is coming from a Postmates customer account. Postmates has this support page on protecting accounts but several drivers told the markup they'd never seen it before postmates says it has implemented two-factor authentication uh, and can block cash outs if fraud is suspected but drivers that have been hit by the scam say they, that the company is hard to reach so they have little hope for recouping their lost earnings the whole story at the markup is worth the read and yet more reason to tip well whenever you lean on the gig economy so what do we think everybody this is not the first time we have seen something like this um back in 2018 i want to say maybe 2018 2019 this was happening on uber eats quite a bit where um drivers were having their information switched or having their accounts hacked i mean just imagine that like you do you know a ton of deliveries every week and somebody gets your login info fools you or whatever and takes all your money and there's nothing you could do about it now the question is can a driver sue postmates for this because i mean is it postmates fault is it not is it the driver's fault for being you know uh, fooled by these people i don't know if you guys remember but way back in the day on the on aol in the instant messages, when you would send instant messages to people, eventually at one point they had a little warning message that said, uh, AOL will never ask you for your login information. Okay. And that still stands with all of these companies. They will never ask you if it's an official person from the company, they will never, ever, ever say, what's your password? That's why over the years for the past, I'd say 15, 16 years, maybe longer, <clears throat> If you can't log into an, uh, an app or a website, they won't send you your password. They'll tell you to reset your password so that nobody can see it. So that's that, you know, that's one of the safeguard things. But this applies to anybody on any of the apps. OK, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, whatever. 
if you are on an order and a call comes in and they say, hi, this is so-and-so from Postmates. Hi, this is so-and-so from DoorDash. Grew up, uh, we just need to confirm your account. So uh, we need your login information. What is your email and login password? Do not give it to them. I know I, I have some older viewers who maybe aren't super tech savvy with this kind of stuff, but always remember, do not give your login information to anyone. Just yourself. You're the only person who needs to know that login information. If you can't log into your account, you have to reset your password. There's usually a reset link in the app or whatever. They'll send you an email and then you click the link in the email and then you could reset your password. But if anybody calls you asking for your login, just say no. Just be like, nope, thanks. Hang it up and report it as soon as that happens. Report it to Postmates, DoorDash, Grubhub, whatever, so that they can maybe look into it. But yeah, guys, don't don't lose your earnings. Now, my question to everybody is, do you think the driver can sue Postmates for this? Or do you think it's all on them because they gave their login info and got confused? Let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me know down below. And I do want to take this time to thank all of our patrons who support the channel every month at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Link is in the description and in the pinned top comment if you would like to sign up and get shout outs like this. And uh, when I go through this list, if you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. So we got BBA, Master Yoda Nottingham. We got Brian Pomeroy. We got Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul. Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Fernando Carranza, uh, Lulu Laura, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and Valerie Brown. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. And of course, everybody, please make sure you download the Get Upside Gas app. Link is in the description down below. It's a free app for your smartphone. Comment 333 if you have it, 444 if you don't. All you do is download it. You pump your gas. You print out your receipt when you're done. Take a picture of it with your phone and submit it through the uh, Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link is in the description down below. Please make sure to download it. And of course, for t-shirts, hoodies, and all that good stuff, check out paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below to get uh, you know discounted t-shirts and hoodies of pay to drive merchandise so definitely check it out limited stock is available and if you made it to the end of this comment end 254 end 254 i'll give you a second to do that and of course subscribe with all notifications on and hit that like button if you could i'd appreciate that and until next time get that money get that honey keep hustling keep bustling and we'll see you guys next time right here on paid to drive and pay to drive logs. Take care, everybody. Mahalo.